Today, we're going to look at using Snowpipe to stream data into Snowflake. So from this documentation here on Introduction to Data Pipelines, as you can see, Snowpipe is how you can get data files that are dropped into any of the, the Azure blobs or, or S3 or Google Cloud and have them stream into Snowpipe in about, in about one minute. And as you see from here, it's coming from Kafka into an external, internal stage or from an external stage in the Snowpipe. And a Snowpipe is a wrapper around the copy into command. So it provides serverless, uh, serverless computing to load your data um, all within about one minute. And here's the staging table. So it comes into Snowpipe, uh, Snowflake Managed Compute Service, and then you could kick off streams and tasks and run analytics into the target table. So we're going to show a demo on, on the snow type portion running into the staging table. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to unload uh, back into our external stage and then have Snowpipe load it back in. So we're basically going to do this loop right here. So uh, some of the documentation and then into the demo here. So this, this one website from Interworks was pretty good on showing the same uh, process. It was good about how to set up a Snowpipe and some of the the things that I found helpful that you might find helpful as well. As usual, this stuff is all open source. This code is over here on, on this um, on one tech uh, GitHub, and you could also look at the uh, you could also look at the the YouTube description to see it. All right, so we just covered the three references over here. A couple of notes on how to find the SQS queue properties on S3 that I found helpful. So here we would main three steps in our demo. We're going to unload to the stage, which in our case is S3, and then we're going to create a snow pipe, and that will essentially monitor any files that are dropped into the S3. And then we're going to verify the data automatically pipes in. Uh, it's just using simple queue service behind the scene. You don't even need to know this. It's just behind the scenes what's going on. So the three main benefits of, of, you know, of using snow pipe is that you can stream your data uh, in a serverless manner with per second billing. So that's low total cost of ownership and it's near zero maintenance. Once you set it up, it just kind of runs and people just drop files onto your Azure blob, um, your, your blob storage, and then it'll pick it up. And Snowpipe is a wrapper around the copy into, so easy to set up. So the, the two main ways to pull data into Snowflake is the copy into and the Snowpipe. So once you set up a copy into command, you're going to see that Snowpipe is just a wrapper around it. So it just uses the same um, you know, language. So it's, again, easy to set up. And that enables near real-time analytics on Snowflake. So instead of just the batch processing, you can do the streaming uh, processing. OK, so let's run our script. Here, we're just going to set the context, essentially who we are. As you can see, we're using a sysadmiral. That's our warehouse. And we're in this uh, database called PlayDB in the public schema. So I want to create some dummy data. Okay, so we're just creating um, some random numbers in, in column N, column R, using a generator. And so let's just take a look at that. So as you can see, we've got uh, 1 million records here with some, some dummy data. Okay. And so we can reset the demo, right? In, in, our, in our stage, we could always see what, what data files we have. We want to remove... Um, any data files. So here I'm just removing these files from a previous run. As you can see, I authorized my Snowflake account to do that, and you can do the same. And then if I have a pipe, a snow pipe that exists, such as this one, I'm going to drop it. So yes, it was officially dropped. Now I'm going to recreate it. So as you can see, this cop, cop, snow pipe is a wrapper around the copy into command. So this is the copy into that hopefully you, you all know true and love. It's it's, um, it's, it's essentially, if I wanted to copy into this table nums target pipe that I create, um, that, uh, I'm essentially saying, I want to, okay, so this is the snow pipe that we're going to ingest into Snowflake. So I'm going to select from this stage called stage official 171, that ampersand shows you that it is a stage data, so it's outside of Snowflake. And I'm going to add a timestamp in and I'm in uh, New York City time right here. So it's going to copy it into that uh, table that, that uh, I created. No, actually, so I created a table called pipe data. 
but now I'm going to copy into a target data, which is going to be empty called nums target pipe. And so that's going to create this a pipe and auto ingest is true, right? So it's just going to say, hey, I am monitoring this, any, any file that comes into this stage, I'm going to copy it into it. All right, so let's just create that. All right, so the pipe is officially created. So now this is this is the target pipe table, right? So we're going to load here. So I'm going to drop the table if it exists. And so I'm just going to create it from the, the source data pipe data using a limit zero. So we'll just essentially create an empty table and add the timestamp right here so that we'll know when the data was inserted. OK. So now we're going to export to the cloud storage while changing the file name since Snowpipe is memory. So here um, you can use modify each time. The one I'm just going to show you that I just like doing it, incrementing the pipe number. So I, I change this to two. And the reason is that Snowpipe has memory. If it has already loaded the file before, it's not going to reload that. OK, so what just happened? It un so this is showing you also how to unload data from Snowflake into your um, into your, your cloud storage, which is what I'm doing here, um, in, in file size of 10,000 bytes. So let's see those files. As you can see, those files have been created here. It created 11 rows, so 11 different files. And so now we can check on the pipe status, right? You don't have to do it, but essentially this pending file count is zero. And it's just showing you what it is monitoring. This is kind of like some of that um, AWS messaging as to you know what's going on. So the, the file is there, and Snowpipe is behind the scenes doing a service process to monitor this. So we already saw these are our files. You could also look at the, the show pipes command to see what other pipes that we have right here. Like this is not the one that we just created, pipe official right here. I have another pipe uh, from another um, demo. Okay, so let's look at our target table right here. Ah, perfect. So the data came in, all right? So notice this nums target pipe came in and that was at, you know, 1635, so 435 just about a minute ago. And as you can see, these are, these are the records, right? So our original paper table was called whatever, um, you know, pipe data, but now our target table now has this data just inserted. And the, and the count will match what we unloaded earlier, which was the, those 1 million records. So a quick recap of what we did, we unloaded to the stage, we created a snow pipe, and we verified the data automatically pipes in via the simple queue service. So the benefits are you can stream data in a serverless way with per second, per second billing for low total cost of ownership and near zero maintenance. Snowpipe is just a wrapper around your copy into, so it's easy to set up. And we're enabling near real-time analytics on Snowflake. Thank you very much.